Welcome everyone, welcome to another Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon and this will be Fallout Nevada. War. War never changes. The end of the world came as it was foretold. The reasons are no longer relevant. Salvation is nowhere to be found. Nuclear furnace that swallowed the earth spared no one in its wake. A few have survived. Those who found shelter in the vaults were left for long years of loneliness and languor. Fear of the open skies still haunts their hazy minds. But not everyone were subjected to such fate. The United States of America's government has been preparing for the apocalypse. The military amassed weapons and equipment. Politicians strengthened their grip on power. Agents recruited prominent minds of their time. True intentions were concealed from the public. All operations were classified. When doomsday struck, those at power abandoned their people and fled to a secret bunker. Many years have passed since. Surrounded by lies from very birth, you and your fellow citizens are left all alone. No one's there to impose their rules and opinions on you. No more government, no law, no United States. What's left is a lot of questions, and these questions need answers. They definitely do. I've been asked to play Fallout Nevada for a long time. This is actually a Fallout 2 total conversion, sort of, uh, by a Russian team. And uh, it's been done a while ago, but has only been, what, translated to English in 2017, I think? Or was it? No, I don't know. Anyway, I know. I've taken a long time to do this, and now I'm actually doing it because people would like to see more Fallout 2, and probably my crazy voices as well. This is actually quite loud. <laughs> so I'm going to put everything back on normal. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, хорошо. Alright, so, let's start a new game. Uh, I did skip the little uh, cutscene at the beginning because unfortunately it does use a song from Louis Armstrong. So, yeah, I obviously cannot show that on YouTube. So we've got... Oh yeah, by the way, the music that we hear in the background, apparently the music was also custom made for this mod in the spirit of Fallout 1 and 2 music. So that's... I'm quite excited about that. So we've got Slash, Morgan, Casta... Slash. Okay, so we've got three pre-made characters. Uh, exceptional physical abilities and violent temper predestined Slash to a life of a brawler. Morgan, a man with an incredible perception, agility, and bad reputation among security office of his home vault. Oh, he were from a vault. Casta longed for the outside world beyond walls. The idea of living without meeting new faces and making new discoveries drives her crazy. So, but as per usual, we'll be creating our own character. Um, wait a second, why is this so small? I thought I had it at times two. Hmm, oh well. So, style. Long, shaggy, shaved, bald, or short hair. We'll just leave it short hair. Alright, so, as per usual, I really like sniper builds, because I'm a sucker for that. And, uh, yeah, I kind of do like it. We'll probably take gifted. You have more innate abilities than most. So that gives us an extra point in all of our special abilities it does reduce our uh, skills as you can see by 10 percent at the start and we receive five skill points less per level uh but you know that's fine because the this gives us quite a lot so let's see uh for a sniper perception is pretty important i would like to keep endurance at around five i mean or could work as well, but we we do start uh, being quite squishy at that point. Maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah. Charisma, that's a dump stat usually. I don't know how this game will do it, of course. Intelligence, pretty important to get all those skill points. Uh, luck, we want to max that out for a very good reason. One... It does give us some random events sometimes. I, like I said, I don't know how it's done in this mod. Uh, but the biggest thing is when you get to level 24, I think, and you get the sniper perk, this basically becomes your critical chance times 10. So with 10 luck, it's 10 times 10. It's 
critical chance. Uh, so we can have 9 in intelligence, 9 in agility, uh, 4 in endurance, 5 in strength, just because going lower than 5 strength, well, it sort of stops you from getting some of the cooler, I mean, some of the bigger weapons. Uh, we won't be using big weapons anyway. Perception. Uh, that's pretty good. So let's see agility. If I remove, if I lower that, we only lose an armor class instead of an action point. So I might stay at nine and go to five endurance. I mean, uh, to eight agility and uh, five endurance. I think that might actually be better. All right. So let's see. Uh, small guns are fairly important usually to tag um, because you do get some pretty nice stuff. Energy weapons, I'll just dump my skill points into, I suppose, even though, you know, I do love energy weapons. We could just tag energy weapons instead, but that will leave us, yeah, um, kind of weak at the start of the game, I suppose. Uh, the other thing I always like to do is speech, which is at 0% here. Uh, speech, very, very good, uh, usually. And then, I will admit, I have never played this mod before at all. I know nothing about it, except one thing. I was look, I was trying to download it because, I don't know, it was a little difficult to find the download uh, of the latest thing. And someone said, get uh, tag the repair skill, because there's a lot of repair stuff in the game. So we're going to do that. I know it's a little bit of a metagaming here, but, well, there you go. So I'm going to click done. Oh, we could take another optional uh, <laughs> skill as well. Um... I don't know. Skill is okay, you know, you gain five additional skill points per experience level, but the trade-offs, you do not gain as many extra, extra abilities. You gain a perk every four levels, and I do like my perks. Um, I don't think I want anything else. One-hander, we don't want that. Small frame is kind of interesting, because it gives you more agility. Two more agility. Oh, one more agility. Oh. Huh. Uh, but it reduces your carry weight by a fair bit, and you know I'm a hoarder in games. And, yeah, it's not that great, I suppose. Finesse is kind of good as well, but uh, not for a sniper built like this, because you actually do 30% less damage. So, we're just going to keep it at that, probably, and click done. Warning, you haven't changed your player now. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. That was, uh, can be on... All right, age 25 male, that's fine. All right, yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, if there's a intro with music... Oh. The year is 2091. 14 years since the Great War. Vault 8. Oh, whoa. Okay. You stand before the door to the outside world. The future events will change your vault forever. Who am I? Which am I? Okay, I'm here. So, what do we have? We've got another... Ooh. Ooh, this is new. Oh, that's nice. You can actually sort things out instead of just going through everything now. That's really nice. How do we hear the sound of thunder and rain if we're in out inside? Greetings, citizen. I'm the team's security detail for this mission. The rest is waiting for you in the medical bay. Let me know when they're ready. All right. One more thing. Take these flares. They can come in handy if there's if there's if it's too dark outside. Turn around the upper part to light one up. Okay. What's the order? What do you know about our mission? Dr. Richard Moreau is supervising the operation. He will brief you. I'm only providing security. Aren't you afraid to go outside? No. I've spent years training for this. I was taught to suppress my fears of, uh, of the outside world. This team can count on me. Yeah, the uh, the whole thing has been translated from Russian to English, so I suppose, yeah, there will be mistakes. So if I stutter, it's either me being stupid while reading, or, you know, something's weird is going on with the uh, grammar. Do I get anything to defend myself? No. Vault security regulations forbid any citizens beside the overseer and security personnel from carrying weapons. But don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Yeah, I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Uh, wait here. I'll go get our team ready. Yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, yeah, wait a second. Oh. There was a couple... There was a bunch of mods that installed with this game, and I thought one of them was to walk through doors without having to open them. No, leave me alone! I'm not going out there! Okay. 
Hey, man. I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. What's wrong with you? Pull yourself together. We have to go. No, no, I'm not going. Come on, it's not that scary. Leave me alone. I, I can't. Why me? Why does it have to be me? It's strange that the overseer assigned you to this job, but we need you, so pull yourself together. How can you be so calm? The overseer always told us it's forbidden to go out there. What's going to happen to us? Why is this happening now? Why does it have to be me? I don't know why you were chosen, but we can't go without you. If we're quick and careful, everything will be fine. You'll have me, Dr. Moreau, and an armed guard by your side. You have nothing to worry about. Really? Will you keep me safe? He grabs you by the suit. Please, just don't leave me. I'm so scared. Don't be. I'm here. Okay, I'm assuming that might have been our uh, speech at work there. Is that Dr. Moreau? Yeah. You see Dr. Moreau, he looks angry. Finally! I was thinking about sending a guard after you. That's not necessary. Why are you so worked up? What? Forget it. To the task at hand. You already know we're going outside. I can't tell you exactly what's waiting for us beyond the main gate, so prepare for the worst. If we act according to plan, everything should go smoothly. What's our mission? We recently stopped getting information from our surface surveillance monitors. But there's still, uh, they still should record data to the local backup. Your job is to get the data from the monitors, if that is possible. How would I do that? Take this empty holodisc. Each monitor has a slot on them. Just plug the disc in and press copy. The monitor will take care of the rest. If it still works, of course. Now give me your sensor. I'll, mic uh, I'll mark the position on the monitors on your map, so it would be easier for you to find them. Wait, what are the rest of you going to do? I'm responsible for medical assistance in case someone needs it. The guard will provide security. The other citizen will gather surface data with his portable monitor. Doctor, are you alright? You look stressed. You'd better keep your mouth shut. The overseer gave you an order. That's all you should worry about. Man, what a nice guy. Look, I don't want to go. Maybe I'll just go back inside. Okay, Dr. Morrow, we're good. No, I'll tell you when we're ready to leave. So I'm assuming that's the team then. I thought it was a whole, you know, uh, team of people, but it's just us four, I guess. Yeah, you cannot open this door. All right, so we're going to talk to the doctor. Maybe we could just talk to the guard there, but... So we, we get nothing apart from flares and the holodisc. You need to write down the information from all the monitors on the surface on this holodisc. Yeah. A flare creates light for a short period of time. Don't care. Okay. Uh, okay. Dr. Moreau, we're ready to go. Follow me. When the team is ready, type the activation code into the access panel. And don't lose the holodisc! Fine. Alright. Can I use a computer here? You must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> Baldur's Gate. Ah. What's the order? Uh, okay, we're ready to start the mission. Affirmative. When the team is ready, use the terminal to open the door. Got it. Okay, so now we can do it. Because we've gathered the party and we can venture forth. Oh, there's no, um, there's no locker here. Like usual. I'm assuming I can use this to open the vault doors. Yeah, it's gonna be a... Yeah, it's, a, it's sort of like an airlock. Alright. Out into the world. With only one armed guard. This is gonna be interesting. PDU. Let's see. The security system allows only uh, one surface access door to be opened at a time. Oh, okay. So do we have to close the, the vault doors, I'm assuming? So it's another set of airlock. Do we have a skull in the back? I think we do, actually. All right, so because of my, you know, experience, uh, oops, we're going to be saving lots. All right, so now we can probably use this. Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. Jeez. Be quiet. I'm trying to sneak up on them. Have a good gun. Oh, that's probably... I have no idea what that said. <clears throat> um, that was pretty cool, though. The, the cutscenes are all made in the spirit of the original as well. 
You know? I'm assuming it's these things. Monitor. The device for autonomous monitoring of the environment. Equipped with a 120 pound metal structure for durab uh, durability. Are there any more? Yes, there are. Let me see. There's shift. Oh! Oh, we can search cars now! <gasps> oh. oh, tow rope. Durable automotive tow rope. About 18 feet in length. Hooks are tied at both ends. That's interesting. And that's a rock, isn't it? Yeah, we're not gonna pick that up. I like I like the outside with the uh with all the sounds actually. I do like that a lot. You download the data to your holodisc. Done. Oh, I'll have to close my blinds. It's oh, there's scorpions there. It's uh, it's actually there's a glare on my screen. Hello, Mr. Scorpion. How about you go and fight him? Well, we should probably fight him because um, come on, there you go. Ow, no, four hit points already. Actually, if we don't hit him and run away, and he hits it. Or, or that. There we go. We still earned hit... Um, not hit points. Experience. Um, but usually, if you don't hit an enemy, and someone else does, they will go for them. Instead of you. Uh, I did not see that one. But right now, we're not... We're not... Uh, equipped with any weapons, so I'm just gonna do this. We weren't poisoned, though, that's, so that's good. I do like that thunder. Nip. Alright, done. Are there any more? Doesn't look like it. That's pretty cool. Oh! Oh! Look at that. There's a ladder up there. And there's kind of a ladder up. Oh, yeah, there is another monitor here. How do we get up there? Let's see. I might be able to go and get healed by uh, Dr. Moreau, I'm assuming. Uh, let's see. Oh god, I, I'm really sorry. The glare from the outside here is actually preventing me from seeing... Okay, there's nothing there. Ah, so we'll be using the hook on this, I'm assuming. We cannot get there. So let's use the hook. No? Maybe I need to equip it? Use on. No. Ladder top. Ladder bottom. Okay, let's do ladder bottom. There we go. That's pretty cool, actually. Boop. Is he gonna follow us? I guess not. Download. Okay, and there's another one there. How the hell? Landslide. So we're gonna have to do that. And I'm assuming we're gonna have to get a shovel somewhere. Oh. I cannot open that. And there's nothing else here. Well, just use our hands then. These rocks are too heavy to move with bare hands. You'll need some kind of lever. Um, so some kind of stick or something. But what and where? There's nothing here. Except that it is almost destroyed. Hmm. Okay. Slightly confused about this. Can we find anything down here? We've already checked everything with shift. I'm pressing shift to highlight things that we can pick up. Rocks are certainly not going to do it. And I think that's about it here. And we've already... It appears that this car stood in the open for more than 10 years. I'm pretty sure it's it was a bit longer than that. Let's see if these guys have anything. Can we hurry up and get this over with? Hurry up with the data. We'll talk later. Ignores you and watches for potential threats. Do you know where the monitors are located? No. Dr. Moreau should have marked the locations on your scanner. Stay focused. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You aren't wearing a pib boy. Map. There we go. Yeah, we've done all of these apart from the one on the top. I need some sort of a lever. Oh, wait a second. There's a tree right there. Well, actually, no. 
I can't use that. And I'm sure it would be... You'd be able to highlight it. Well, this is embarrassing. I was kind of expecting something like this to happen. We would... We would start the game and immediately get stuck. I like the fact that... I don't know. It's, it's not just combat right at the start. I do like combat, but... Pipes used for pumping fluids in large volumes. Yeah, we kind of know that, but... There's nothing here. Before you lies a pile of heavy rocks that have fallen from above. It would be too dangerous to climb over them. You have to find a way to throw them down. Okay. Oops. Well, we don't have anything on us. This is not going to work. I mean, obviously it's not going to work. You light the flare. Well, I kind of didn't want to light the flare. The flare. I kind of wanted to sell those. They go for a nice amount at the beginning of the game. Um. I, am I supposed to find a stick somewhere? Because I certainly don't see anything here that could be used. And apparently, everything that... Well, actually, no. Not everything that can be used is highlighted. Because the rocks don't get highlighted. And these things don't get highlighted either. There must be something here. Freaking glare, man. I, I can barely see the details here. That looks like a... No. Alright, let's check the uh, environment around here. So we've checked all of this already. Junk, tree... Is there a special looking tree around here? Or one that stands out anyway? Bones. What about here? Because this entire area here is kind of useless. There's nothing here. <laughs> Alright, maybe I'll uh, pause this recording and actually find... Well, look around. So, see you then. <sighs> okay, this is kind of stupid. There's this road sign. Which, you know, does not get highlighted if you press shift. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to get. Because I was looking for trees, and I wanted to get something like that, and, you know, wasn't even paying attention to the scenery. So, I think I have to stop thinking in Fallout 2 terms, and acknowledge that this mod is going to do things a little bit differently. So, alright, so we've got that. Let's see how it's modeled. That's quite nice, actually. Look. Private road, dead end. Can I use it as a... The warning for drivers on this rusted sign still barely seen. It has nothing to do with you. It weighs 12 pounds. But you cannot actually use it as a weapon. So there you go. You throw your body weight onto the lever and shift some medium-sized rocks. You've almost cleared enough space to pass. It's probably because we're not strong enough to do it in all in one go. Phew. Using the sign as an Archimedes' lever, uh, you slowly shift the largest boulders until they roll over the edge, crashing onto the ledge below. The passage is clear. And we kill some of our, you know, friends down there, probably. Oh, what was that scream? Well, Oh, wow, he's dead. Uh, you've copied the data from the last monitor. It's time to get back to the vault. So maybe Dr. Moreau doesn't want us to get back. Maybe we were exiled for some reason, but kind of secretly. Or maybe it's a test. Move, move, move! Hmm. Remains of Citizen. It's a cutscene. He's dead! His head snaps back and forth, peering into the darkness. What happened? Where is Dr. Moreau? It doesn't matter now. Get back into the vault. What about Dr. Moreau? Move, Citizen! You have the data. The mission is over. We can't leave without Dr. Moreau. He might still be around somewhere. His eyes flare. He grits his teeth. I said move! Dr. Moreau is gone. Get into the vault now! No, Sergeant. Take the holodisc and return. I'm going after Dr. Moreau. Citizen! He points his weapon at you. Don't you dare to go out there! Get into the vault right now! That's an order! Turn around and start walking away. Which I'm assuming is the end because he'll shoot us. Yes, Sergeant. You're right. We have to leave Dr. Moreau. Let's go back. 
He's got nothing. I'm assuming we won't be able to get back. Maybe Dr. Moreau is some sort of a... Traitor. Taking some sort of... The year is 2140. 63 years since the Great War. Vault City. Oh. Wait, so this is Vault City? I thought Dr. Moreau was... A no, wait a second. This is Vault City now. This is different. Maybe that was how Vault City evolved? Dr. Wilmoth. I'm glad to see you're awake, Metal Canyon. You're probably confused, aren't you? Yes, you probably have a lot of questions, especially about your amnesia. I would have preferred the Overseer to wait longer before sending you outside, but nonetheless, I'm glad to see that your brain is recovering. Oh, and if you don't remember, my name is Dr. Wilmoth. I can't remember anything, Doc. What happened to me? Uh, that is to be expected. Your brain has been exposed to the destructive influence of the outside world. I, I won't go into detail, but the important thing is that we were able to restore it. Unfortunately, part of your memory was lost forever. How did this happen? You were brought to us by a stranger, calling himself a biker, tied up in the back of his two-wheeled vehicle. You can ask the Sergeant Graves, uh, Sergeant Graves about him. Uh, when you were brought to me, you had limited mobility and were not aware of your surroundings. I diagnosed brain damage and severe memory loss. I'll talk to Graves. Can I count on your medical help in the future? Of course. If you need medical attention, I will do everything I can to help. The overseer himself has ordered it. Can you give me any advice before I leave the city? Watch out for radiation and avoid physical contact with dead or living organisms. Can you tell me more about radiation? Sure, what do you want to know? Are there any specific areas I should avoid? Obviously it's better to avoid places with high radiation levels, but sometimes individual objects emit radiation too, especially large metal objects such as old cars. How can I treat my radiation poisoning? Ooh, this is kind of a... You know, they're telling you in advance that this game is going to treat radiation a bit more seriously, perhaps. I mean, Fallout 2 and 1 radiation was pretty nasty, but there was very little of it in, in areas. <clears throat> Red X pills will boost your body's natural resistance against radiation. They should be taken before entering contaminated areas. If you're already exposed, right away will remove the radiation from the body. There might be other chemicals that can be of help, but I'm not aware of any. Are there any... Uh, chems I can use to prevent. Keep your radiation levels below 100 rads. Anything exceeding that is very dangerous. What effect does prolonged exposure to radiation have on the body? Long-term radiation exposure will have negative effects on your body, such as weakness, clumsiness, and loss of stamina. You will recover with treatment, but it will take time. Okay, I think that's about it. See you later. Take care, Citizen Metal Canyon, and long live Vault, Vault City. Long live Vault City. Huh, so we're in Vault City now. It's very strange what happened. You see a cute, quiet girl. Oh, it's you. It's so nice to see you. So many people are afraid to go outside, but not you. You're so... I'm sorry, but do I know you? Oh yes, it's you. I remember how you were dragged here to Dr. Wilmoth. He told me you forgot almost everything. I'm sorry. What are you doing here? Me? Oh, don't mind me. I just keep the place clean. Dr. Wilmoth asked me to. Aren't you sick of this tiny vault? Oh, no. Everything is so familiar in here. I have thick walls and people I know. As for outside, I'm afraid to even think about it. It's easy. Go outside, get some fresh air. I'll leave you to your work. Yeah, good luck to you. Thank you for not being a stranger. Come around sometimes. Bye. Hmm. Wait, what's her... He didn't say her name. Jesse. So what's going on here? This elevator leads to the lower levels of the vault, but you don't have the code for the activation. Oh yeah, we don't need to because this is Vault City, so there's... Ah! Okay. That was a level transition before I uh, thought that would be. Overseer. See the head of security in, in his office. He will give you an exit pass. Okay, but why are we leaving... A kiss to build a dream on. Yeah, there you go. Who is that? Harold! Harold! I see you're feeling better. Dr. Wilmoth did a great job with getting you back on your feet. 
He recommended not to give you any assignments, but we have no choice. Something terrible has happened. Something we should have expected an outsider might do. What are you talking about? It seems that the man who brought you back to the vault city did it to break into the vault. He stole a device critical to the vault's safety and prosperity. We cannot catch up with his vehicle on foot. Being the only citizen who has traveled well beyond the city limits, you are the only one who can, uh, we can trust with this assignment. Find the device and bring it back. I understand what you're saying, but I can't remember anything. I need to know more about what happened. Of course. Dr. Wilmoth warned us about your amnesia. Ask away. Tell me everything. A man calling himself Biker brought your senseless body to the city. You've been missing for quite some time. The man introduced himself as Jay Cookish and demanded to see the overseer. They had a long talk with Dr. Wilmoth. Uh, wait. They had a long talk while Dr. Wilmoth tended to you. After some time, the biker used some kind of neutralizing weapon to render the guards and the overseer unconscious. He then stole the device from the vault and fought his way out of town. Do you have any more questions? Yes, I have some other questions. Maybe that was all an illusion then? Us going outside the vault and collecting the data? I don't know. Tell me everything you know about Jay Cookish. He's wearing a dirty leather jacket with a flaming skull symbol on the back. Yeah, but so are we. He may have changed his clothes, but my guess is he doesn't do that very often. He's rude, aggressive, and apparently... It's, he's only interested in technologies. He arrived and left on his two-wheeling speed vehicle. That's all I can tell you about him. Okay, another question. How do I find that biker? I recommend following his tire tracks. Our patrols report that they may lead to a place called Black Rock. It is located southeast from here. Surely the locals must know something. Okay, another question. Uh, will I get any gear for my travels? The overseer did not assign you any equipment, but everything you had when you were brought here is in the warehouse. Including the rocks, probably. Perhaps other citizens can lend you, lend you something. Okay, that's great. Um, what should I expect in the outside world? I don't have much information for you. We have had reports from our scouts about settlements located nearby. If you can call them settlements. Sometimes we make contact with travelers in the wasteland. Freaking hell. But we usually try to scare them away. I don't belong here. Tell me more about the stolen device. I don't know anything in the... Uh, uh, I don't know neither the name of this device nor its exact purpose. Judging by the reports, it was vital to some of our automated systems, including security. Without it, we are vulnerable to external attacks. Okay, what if I refuse to help? Uh-oh, he's angry. You don't have a choice. Your citizenship has been suspended until you return the device. <laughs> Very nice. There are only a few standard procedures available to you. Reduced medical care is among them. Um, I think that's all I wanted to know. Well, good luck. Stop by the warehouse to pick up your belongings. And remember, be careful when interacting with the people in the wasteland. Do not mention the existence of this city to anyone. That would be all. Consider it done, sir. You received a new quest. Open your pip boy to check its status. Oh, so we do have a pip boy now. Vault City. Total recall. Find the... Uh, retrieve the device that have, that have been stolen by Biker. Okay. Total recall. Get up on feet. Talk to Graves. We'll not take your gear from the warehouse. Biker Chase. Learn more about Jay in Black Rock. I'm still kind of confused about what we're actually doing apart from the device. No, no. Hey, smooth skin. You ever seen The Walking Dead before? Boo! <laughs> I'm not going to cough because that's going to make me start coughing. Scary, huh? Maybe I should take a couple of bucks for the show. Uh, is that what passes for a show out in the wastes? Yeesh, I don't want to be rude, but I didn't get here just for kicks. What are you doing here, then? You tell me. It was our brave boys who stopped my caravan when we got too close. It seems they had orders to capture someone like me to learn more information about the outside world. Or maybe just to poke me with your damn needles. Oh, Dr. Wilmoth must have been looking for subjects for his studies. What's a caravan, anyway? It means I travel around looking for junk to buy and sell, kiddo. And maybe make enough profit to eat once in a while. You don't even know that? You're a funny bunch. I've never met anyone like you in the wastes. And I've been around for a really long time. Yeah. Sorry I'm not doing the actual Herald voice, uh, because... Uh, well, my throat would absolutely kill me. Uh, <clears throat> and I'll have to keep clearing it and you'll get annoyed and so on. So sorry about that. 
Good, because I want to know everything about the outside world. What? Don't take me wrong, friend, but you people don't belong out here. The outside world is cruel. The hub or necropolis would eat you alive. You're lucky to be living in a place like this with all this technology. Most fellas can't even dream of such a life. It's uglier out there than I am. <laughs> the closest city in New Reno is some kind, uh, has some kind of a civil war going. And in Vegas, local royalty are at each other's throats while everyone else is bagging for crumbs. To the south of that is only a vast emptiness, scorched by nuclear fire. Cities in ashes, radioactive twisted forms of life. Must be horrible. Nevada and California to the west might be all that's left. At least those cities are just old, not destroyed. You should appreciate it, friend. Interesting, but I have to go. Wow. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. This is going to be a fun thing. And uh, yeah, quite a twist on the whole formula. So anyway, thank you for watching. A big thank you to my patrons. If you'd like to uh, become a patron and support my channel more, you can click on the link down below in the comments or on the video. And yeah, give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet, because I've done a lot of follows. I've done follow two, follow one, follow two with a stupid character. That was hilarious. I've done follow 1.5 resurrection. I'm doing this. I've done follow four. Anyway, I've got lots of stuff. Check the playlists. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.